All right, today we are at a state park that we've wanted to go to for quite some time. It is the Mayaka River State Park. In... We're near like Sarasota. Yeah, does it, does it even say what city it is? I don't know. It is the, oh, Sarasota. Sarasota. Good call, in Sarasota, Florida. And we're gonna go look at some trails, the whole state park. Beautiful weather today. It is 90, 91 degrees, so it's gonna be warm, but we're gonna have a good time. Let's go check it out. So as we're pulling in here, it is $6 per vehicle. Um, park stays open from 8 a.m. to sunset. And if there's only one person in the car, it's $4. All right, it's our first time out here, so we're just gonna keep driving this way and see what we can find. There's parking. Is this where we need to park? There's a... I think there's multiple. There's parking. What's that? Kind of a little... I don't really know. Uh, we're looking for the Nature Trail Canopy Walk, so just keep driving down the road until we come across something. So we came across some water. Look at that. There should be, I would think, parking, yeah, up over here. So we just ended up parking on the side of the road, kind of where everybody else is. And we just crossed this bridge a second ago, and it looks like the little canopy trail is this way. And there were some alligators out in the water. Now they gave us this little map but it's kind of hard to read but essentially the little black trail is the road that's where we just crossed and we're parked probably like right in here so the nature trail canopy walk is right over here and then they also have a this uh the pink gator cafe that we're going to eat at afterwards and it is located right where that little purple house, there we go, pink purple house. They also have a bunch of other, there's a, this thing's pretty large. They had some boat tours, but it said sold out. Then on this side, yeah, boat tours, I guess riding tours canoe kayak rentals bike rentals all right so we came back by the bridge we drove over and see if we can spot some more alligators oh yeah there's some over there That's a nice one, you can see right there's one. Oh, another one another one another one another one that's a that's a large one over there it looks like you can actually walk down here. So, I guess that's where we're heading. I don't know. There's an alligator right over here. There's a lot of them. Right under the bridge. I don't know, something just happened. Yeah, I think it just chomped. It literally sounded like somebody smacked the water. That's how loud it was. Fun fact, Mayaka is the name, name of the soil in Florida. Sandy soil. Here, I'll show you. This is what we're talking about. It's like what's in our yard. Yeah. It can be everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, look at that gator, right? There. You can just like, freely walk through here I guess so. that's kind of weird yeah. and there's another one yeah. is... so you wonder what's like right on yeah that's side. what i'm saying yeah okay so we made it over here to the come on the river bank there's a couple alligators right there oh over here yeah we're gonna keep walking down where everybody else is over here 
see if there's anything we're seeing. It almost reminds me of like Jurassic Park. And this is what the water looks like over here. Not seeing any gators on this side. It's just free game out here though. Like you can walk wherever. We are now gonna try to go on this path into the woods and see if we can find that canopy trail. It's like a little palm tree maze through here. So many palm trees. Right or left? Mm. I think the canopy is that, that way. general direction. Look at this tree. That's nice. I I've never seen, again, so many palm trees in just like one area. They're everywhere. All right, we're gonna walk back actually towards the main road because right kind of where we parked was an entrance somewhere and we think that's actually the canopy trail. Not sure based on their map where this takes you. It's just, just all wild nature of Florida. Another nice little walking path through here. Look at all this greenery. We're out back by the water where we saw those alligators. Gonna head back up the trail and then hopefully find that other canopy trail. All right, and then at the top of the bridge, this is where I think we need to go over this way. Again, our first time here, have no idea what we're doing. I don't think this is the canopy path. I think it's literally the path we were just in. So I think what we'll do is we'll hop in the car. Yeah, you can see all these things. I think we'll hop back in the car and drive a little further because I think the uh, map kind of shows the canopy trail being a little further down. All right, back in the car. So that was the first stop. Now we're gonna keep our eyes peeled because there should be some sort of other canopy trail thing we can get on. This says Fisherman's Loop. Oh, there's parking. Do you wanna stop and look at Fisherman's Loop? We're gonna pull in and look at Fisherman's Loop. Just to look over here at the Fisherman's Loop. That is some nice water. There's a, is that a small gator over there, I think? Right there. I guess you can go wherever you want. There's no sign, so just be cautious. Maybe grab a, there's a gator right there, so. Yeah, you wanna grab a hand or no? There's a gator right there. Holy smokes. It's about as close as I'm gonna get right now, cause, okay. Heading back out on the road again. Let's see. I would think up here there's, oh, canopy, canopy walk. walk. There we are. So find parking again. All right, and here's our little trail leading to the canopy walk some more palm trees and here's the canopy now there's a drone above us which it says no drones allowed so I don't know if that's maybe the park doing something or someone just not following the rules but we're gonna enter over here look at this walk across that over here we have a fun fact here when you see the vulture circling sometimes there's nothing dead they just need um Let's see, vultures rise on a warm air current, then soar to the next thermal updraft without needing to flap their wings. So if you see vultures circling, it doesn't mean something died. They may just be riding the wind. All right, let's, let's go up here. That's a cool view. Getting closer. Wow. What do you got? What can you can expect this walkway to sway as you cross it and the tall tower to shake when someone moves below. When the wind blows, the structure will rattle. Don't worry, it's all it's only natural. 
Looks like we're about to the top. Limit four people. All right, and here we go. We are crossing it. You can feel it sway a little bit. You definitely can feel it. Oh, it's pretty bouncy too. I don't know if you can, I don't really know how to show it swaying other than just walking. You can definitely feel it. Wow, that tree's you got a duck under the tree, that's for sure. You can see how low that actually is. So almost to the end. Here's the remainder. Now you can either go down or you can go up to like their lookout tower. So we're gonna keep heading up. Just another look of the bridge we cross. Heading up. All right, almost to the top. Yeah, it's kind of getting, we're up 42.5 feet. Good grief. This is, yeah, I don't really like heights, so this is something. There better be really good views at the top. I'm taking my hat off because it is really windy right now. Holy smokes. This is insane. I can't imagine building this. Now we're 67.3 feet up. You can pretty much see everything. And we're not even at the top yet. If we do a little peek down. Ooh. Right. <laughs> we are 76 feet up. 76.1 feet. Yeah, just be careful when you're up here because there's like no netting or anything. It's just a free for all. But look at the views. That is something. Wow. Oh, viewing machine too. All right, there's a quick view again, terrified of heights, but quick view over the top. So you can see pretty cool views. to head back down really high up but heading back down looking down now I'm starting to feel safer yeah that was something though they got plenty of support which is good in more than one way financially you see all these little like plaques and then also with the cables. So I can put all these over here. And we have made it to the precious ground. Whew. There you go, look at that. That is unreal. Quite a little trek to the top. Oh, we survived that. Covered in sweat. I think because it's just hot outside, not because I was absolutely terrified and my legs were shaking. Pretty cool to go up though. I mean, that was, you could see all the area. Um, we're both starving. So we're gonna head back to the car. Our next destination is probably gonna be more towards the, I guess it's like the end point, right? Where the other big lake is, I think, according to the map we have. All right, back in the car, the air blasting on us and heading now towards the end. Gonna see if uh, there's anything else that pops up here. Is that what they say? Oh, and we met the sky just a second ago. <laughs> Look at these trees through here. Over here, there's uh, more of the prairie, which is wide open field. I wonder if maybe they'll have a kind of like an observation place over here. Pretty long drive so far down to the end. Another visual of the prairie. I, mean, I don't even see where. So it's 
says concession boat tour scenic drive straight I think is what we want for now right because of boat yes. tours and stuff so you can go that way sure. may go back that way later look at these trees yeah it looks like okay we finally found civilization yeah found some buildings that's the restaurant I guess that's additional parking. Let's just see if we can find some closer to the restaurant. There goes a boat tour or one that's coming in. Again, a boat tour would be really, really cool, but they were sold out today. Across from where we parked, you can see the gator. Let's see right there. Now we're gonna walk up this way. Here's the Mayaka outpost, food, bikes, canoes, gift shop. Looks like they've got some ice cream but we're gonna head this way. This looks like the little tram tour. Yeah, tram tours. Just looking at the sign, boat tours, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three boat tours sold out and four boat tours sold out. And it's $22 plus tax. The tram is 10.30, 12.30, 2.30, 4.30. And it's also $22 plus tax. And if you wanna do them combined, it's $32 plus tax. We are definitely hungry, so this Miyaka Outpost Cafe and Gifts, where we're heading. Also looks like there's Lazy Gator Cafe that has a little food truck with some yeah. food. Again, first time out here, so here's the overview. This building is actually restrooms and gift shop, to my knowledge. Over here is the little food truck. We could be wrong, but we think that possibly this maybe used to be the restaurant. Now it's a food truck. Um, but like I said, we're gonna look at the gift shop, so we're walking up to the top. Yeah, so you can see cafe used to be up here, but now is downstairs at the food truck. Before we go in the gift shop, you can see the boat tours getting ready to take off. Let's see what the gift shop has to offer. Huh, I wonder why the what happened with the cafe and why it turned into a food truck, but guess it doesn't matter they still serve the same thing so maybe they are remodeling yeah I don't know all right and here's inside oh I want to stick my head inside that ice cream fridge some shirts some kids shirts and hats some other shirts. Here's some other hats. Some other shirts. Some cups and mugs. Some books. Some other hats. Looks like there's no access to anything back there. So. I wonder if they're just remodeling. It's not really that big of a gift shop. And of course the food truck downstairs, they must just be remodeling. Look at the coconut. They also have ornaments. Yeah, those are cool. And some sauce. So I asked the lady inside and found out, yes, this used to be the restaurant. However, they found out that the builder put particle board on the floors. So right now, they're remodeling. There are no floors in this. That's why we have the food truck down there. Temporary thing, they think maybe by what? It's in the, it's in the uh, permitting. permitting phase. So maybe by May maybe or June is when they're gonna start, hopefully, um, getting this thing remodeled and opening the physical restaurant up right here. All right, heading back down, and we are gonna grab something over here at the food truck. Let's see what their menu says. So you can see they have some alcohol out here. The Lazy Gator Cafe Gator Stew, all beef hot dogs, bratwurst, pulled pork sandwich, chicken Caesar wrap or salad, nachos, seafood gumbo, shrimp Caesar wrap or salad with some sides, chips, baked beans, coleslaw. Then here's their little logo. All right, so we both got just the hot dog with chips and then a sweet tea. And then the water's right over there. Oh, no. Coming to our no, buddy. 
<laughs> Hi, little squirrel. We, we don't have anything. No fear. No. 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 I will scream. <laughs> Freaking free crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you doing, squirrel? Where are you at? Hey. Hey. Go on. This is unreal. Hi, little squirrel. Hi, little squirrel. That squirrel was literally in attack mode. Oh, he was coming for me. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, we're gonna head back to the car and then take the last little trail that we drove past earlier, and I think that'll that'll wrap it all up. We're heading back towards the front, and there should be this little like place where we can turn left. Right here, can I? Yeah, I can turn right through here. So it's right through here. We're gonna go this way. There are some camping sites over here. Big flats camping area. Oh, and they have cabins? This is a seven mile thing. Oh, this, this way is seven miles? I think like from that little turn point Look at the water out there. There's a big sandhill crane. There's turkeys right there, two turkeys. How strange. That's so weird. Alright, we came across this bird walk sign. Looks like we'll go down it. Here is the bird walk with a boardwalk. No fishing or bikes. Birds of prey. So they've got the American kestrel, the bald eagle, the black vulture, northern harrier, red shouldered hawk, osprey, and turkey vulture. Look at the remains of this tree. You see, got a sign that says, oh, birds of Miyaka River. Do they have a turkey? Because I, I saw a turkey. You can see, I'll try to zoom in on the video here, but there's a bird flying out. A bunch of birds flying. There's some bird right there. and then an eagle stole it from it right right up here right in back this way to the car to continue our path continuing down the road just to see where this leads us. This is unreal. Another turkey. What are you doing, turkey? Oh. What did you just pop down? Yeah. Digging or something. Yeah, I'm looking for food. Or laying eggs. What in the world? This is, this is unreal. I don't know what's going on there. Carbine? The car's coming, so. Yeah, to be continued, but that's something there. Still just cruising down this road. We got a bridge here. We've seen a couple of pull off points for like some different hiking, hiking trails. What's this say? Oh, Picnic area. And then we made it here. I think it said it shuts at 5 o'clock. Oh, so we need to turn around. So we made it to the end, but I think yet yeah, this gate closes at 5 p.m. So definitely have to now turn around. Just past that turkey again and 
it was still there just rolling around in the dirt and then got up and walked off. As we're making our way out, look at these. There, look at this turkey here. And then there's one behind in between these two trees right here. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the other one. Yep, back there. That one's got a big beard. As we're heading towards the exit, we found why the turkey Waller wallers in the, in, the dust. In, in the dust mud. And apparently wild turkeys dust. They do that to keep their feathers clean. So there you go. We saw a turkey trying to keep feathers clean. All right, we have made it back to the front entrance that we came in at. Pulled over real quick because I wanted to get a picture of the sign. All right, that was our trip out to Miyaka River State Park in Sarasota, Florida. Now that we know where we're actually located. Um, haven't ever quite seen a state park like this to where you can just uh, freely go wherever you want to. Kind of cool. Ton of wildlife, especially alligators. And I like the fact that they have food, so if you're hungry, you have a place to eat. But pretty neat place. Large place. You could spend a lot of hours out here. Oh, for sure. Um, so if you're ever in the Sarasota area, or even, I'd say, I mean, it took us a few hours to get here, but within you know, a few hours, come out and check it out because it's, uh, it's a pretty cool state park. Mm -hmm. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.